It seems really obvious when I say it out loud, but ramming your car into a giant ball at top speed is pretty fun. Rocket League is an arena-based sports game that answers the age-old question of what if soccer cars with a giant ball was a thing? Every match is five minutes of team versus team, pedal to the metal, car flipping, goal scoring action, and yet it's really simple. Taking a step back, it's just driving cars into a ball, into a goal. So why is that so fun? Let's break it down. In Rocket League, you control a sprightly car with tight handling, plenty of boost, air control, and a double jump. You'll use these various vehicular values to manipulate this large and rather floaty ball into that particularly stationary goal. Like two seconds ago, I said that this game is kind of like soccer cars, but that wasn't entirely accurate. I'd say Rocket League is more like carpool, minus the savings on gas, though it's cleverly designed to look and feel like soccer. But is it rated S? Dribbling is like kind of a big deal in soccer. You control the ball, keep it close, defend it from bad guy feet, and set up plays by putting the ball directly where you want it to be before you kick the crap out of it. In Rocket League, you can only ever affect the ball from one direction because the point of contact and the source of the power are the same. It's your car. A foot can curve around the ball, stop it while your body is still behind it, or do all manner of ball manipulating tricks that your car can't do. There's room for finesse and softer hits, but for the most part you're gonna be slamming this ball so hard it's like you're playing tennis with the moon, then chasing after it like it's a runaway free donuts cart. Believe it or not, that's literally it right there. That one little piece is what makes the entire game, and I'm gonna explain more like why and stuff, but seriously, like keep that in mind, because that's that's it right there. First of all, hitting stuff really hard is satisfying, like in life, in general, but definitely in sports. Think of crashing into the ball in Rocket League like you would dunking the goosebumps off a basketball. You're carving through the arena, eyes on the prize as it floats through the sky, then you pop up and flip into it at top speed. Watching it soar away from your car as it tumbles back to earth is that same satisfaction, and it feels good every time. The dexterity required to pull off sweet maneuvers is what makes Rocket League both a game of visceral, basic pleasure and of intellectual joy. I said that this game was like pool. This is because your car is not a foot, which I hope is obvious. It's more like the white ball in pool, and your engine is sort of the pool cue. In pool, you use the white ball to deflect the other balls into various pockets with the use of precise angles and measured force. Of course, in Rocket League, unlike pool, you've only got one giant ball to sink, and all the other balls are driving around pulling all kinds of ridiculous shikarnigans. But the physics-based and geometry-based interactions with said giant ball and the other cars are where the pool comes in. Planning around them on the fly when making plays is the soccer part. Also, the shape of the goal. All of that might be a little weird to have to understand with just theory and some random gameplay clips, so we're gonna break down one specific shot from a bunch of different angles to help understand what I'm talking about. We're about halfway into a typical three-on-three -three match of Rocket League. After the ball is cleared from Blue's side, everyone's rushing after it and Eruption gets to it first, bumping it into one of Orange's corners. As the ball approaches the corner, it has a fair bit of bounce to it. Since the gravity in this game is pretty floaty, a bounce over a couple car heights forces players to choose between aiming for the ball mid-air or aiming for it on the ground. Due to the size and shape of the car hitboxes, a grounded hit will pop the ball up, whereas hitting square on features more horizontal force. Prior to reaching the orange corner, all of orange was near the blue goal, so they've chased it back via the shortest path, but aren't in a good position to clear the ball now, so they just slow down and crowd around it. Lifestyle 500 here has the right idea swinging for a hook, but he misses his shot, placing the ball in this hodgepodge of contrasting colors and motivations. All of Orange's players are now too close to the ball to move it with much force because they have no momentum, but Eruption, having gotten some distance, easily pops the ball up and out of the scrum. Or the whatever, the pile of cars. The whole time, I'm planning my response from center field. If Orange took it, I could have cut it off at half field, but if Blue took it, then I could do that, which I did do. All that watching for bounces and angles culminated in a very simple shot, but it took a lot of work to get there. 
That's why slamming the ball and repositioning is the game. Most of the time, you'll send the ball in your desired direction but won't be able to follow it up. Thus, every hit results in a desperate recalculation of where you need to be. I suppose it's worth mentioning that driving to these places is fun because the controls feel nice. And what's more, everyone else is playing their own little game of pool. They have their own ideas about where the ball should go and where they should be, and you have to play with that in mind. The speed of the cars and the volatile nature of the ball forces you to commit to your plans hard. So when you miss, you go somersaulting off into space, but when you score, it makes that successful play that much more exciting. It also helps that the ball explodes. The sheer adrenaline rush that you get from having a plan come together and then pulling it off successfully is what'll keep you playing Rocket League for hours on end. Perfect shots, desperate clears, amazing saves, aerial juggles, or just blowing somebody up on the way to the ball. It's these little moments of tactile satisfaction that make Rocket League rated S. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. And if you want to show some appreciation, you can hit the old like button on the bottom there, or leave a comment, or even maybe subscribe if you've never done that before.